Hey, have you ever been falsely accused or maybe somebody misinterpreted or misunderstood your, your statement or your actions and it just caused you great grief and pain and everything inside of you when those moments happen, like when you, when you feel like people are misunderstanding you, when they're talking bad about you, when um, then you feel like your character is being assaulted, like everything in you wants to rise up and defend and to say something and to try and fix it yourself. But I think we have to take a lesson from Jesus in this moment. Um, and, and that's simply this, that when Jesus was on the cross, uh, they, the religious leaders and the Jews were like, if he's really the son of God, he would save himself. If, if he's really the son of God, he can let himself off the cross right now. And if he's really as powerful as he claimed to be, well then, man, he would totally step in and stop this from happening. But the reality is Jesus didn't stop the suffering in his own life. Jesus didn't stop them from misunderstanding what he was doing. See, they didn't understand that unless Jesus walked all the way through and died on the cross and paid for our sins, then you and I would still be stuck in some religious, legalistic approach to life. And, and you and I would still be separated from God, our Heavenly Father. And Jesus didn't want that to happen. And so he remained silent. He stayed in a place of suffering even though the people around him didn't understand, they didn't see the full story. They didn't understand why and what he was really up to. In other words, I think that for you and me, here's how it breaks down in our faith today is, is simply this, that when people misunderstand you, when people uh, misinterpret your actions, and when people don't know the full story, don't feel like you have to go out and defend yourself and chase down all of the things. I think it's simply this, you need to be willing to walk in obedience, walk in humility, and let God be your defense. If it's true, if you're in the right, in other words, if you're walking in obedience to what God has said, then God is going to take care of bringing justification. He's going to justify, he's going to fix, he's going to remedy, and the fruit of what you're doing in your obedience will prove itself out in due time. So don't chase down the naysayers. Don't chase down the gossip lines. Don't, don't try and correct every misinformation about your life. Uh, there comes a time when you can have real conversation and maybe one-to-one -one you can actually, you know, maybe given a chance to explain yourself uh, when the time comes. But, but take a note from Jesus. Just because people misunderstand doesn't mean you have to speak up against it. Don't stop walking in obedience. Don't stop moving forward just because there's opposition, just because people don't understand, just because they're misinterpreting and spreading misinformation about why or what you're really doing. I think if we're following Jesus and we're really living the life uh, that he's called us to, then there's going to be people around who are going to misunderstand, not fully get it, and, and they may not even fully um, ever understand why what we're doing. But at the end of the day, the fruit of your obedience or the evidence, the result of you following through with what God asks you to do will speak louder than if you stop to try to answer every critic, answer every misunderstood uh, situation, or try to, to try to reinterpret for somebody who's got a limited perspective already. At the end of the day, if it's worth defending, God will defend you. And uh, so keep obeying, stay humble, and trust God to be your defense. Hey, I love you. Hope this has helped you have faith for today. We'll see you soon.